Hey everybody, welcome back. We've got a regular Isaac run on today's uh, Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac episode, uh, which I'm excited about. The last run with Maggie was, there. Were, I mean, there were times when I was like, oh, we got some bad, what an awful bit of damage to take at the start here, but there were times when I was like, oh, what a bad uh, item we've got generated from this boss room, or oh, I can't reroll. Um, you know, Game Kid. I want to reroll Game Kid because I don't want Game Kid. Well, we ended up steamrolling the game pretty easily with a uh, combination of Mom's Knife, Blue Candle. It worked out quite nicely. I can't really complain too much. So that's Spirit Heart. I've revised my tactics and I've talked about how I've re revised my tactics a little bit. That Spirit Heart is very valuable to us to take down to the second floor to give us a good deal with the Devil Chance. As we saw in the last run, Getting a deal with the devil on the second floor can be a make it or break it moment. More like a make it or wait on it moment, if that makes sense. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, this is a better reroll than our boss room, probably. Chemical peel is fine, I think. It's, um, you know, it's never. Is it a little speed upgrade, too? Kind of feels like it. Community Remix has me, you know, second guessing everything now, but, um,. Assuming it does what it says on the tin, I think uh, it's a pretty okay damage upgrade. Probably wait to take this pill until after this floor is over, just in case it ends up being a problem, but anyway. Yeah, if you get, uh, for example, a mom's knife on your first deal with the devil, GG almost. In, in almost every situation, that'll end up being uh, a win for you. Whereas if you end up just getting nothing too valuable on that deal with the devil room, well, it doesn't necessarily mean you've lost. It just means you're going to have to wait a little longer until getting those items that'll make a win more likely. So... Trying to sneak down here and get uh, get Famine to charge us a little bit. There we go. It's always easier to deal with when he charges you. So this pill should be fine. We just want to make sure we get the Spirit Heart before we leave this floor. Protect our Red Hearts for the next floor. Get back to full HP. Take our cube of meat with us. And that's going to do it for this floor. Uh, minus this pill. I really, really, really hope this isn't an HP downgrade. I would be very disappointed. You know what? Let's t let's save this pill. Because what if we get a deal with the devil on the next floor, and we get down to one red heart? Then we could pop this, and if it's an HP downgrade pill, then it becomes an HP upgrade pill. It's not like we're in any pressing situation where we need to use a pill. The only thing that would make this pill uh, time-sensitive right now is if it's bombs or key. That would allow us uh, the possibility to get into this item room. And the shop, but let's be honest, it doesn't look like we'll have enough money to make the shop worthwhile here early on anyway. And we just got a key as is, so there's no need to, to pop this right out the bat. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, that's alright. We still have uh, half of our spirit heart protecting us here. And we have Shoop the Whoop, which is awful, but we're early enough on the floor that we may still be able to harvest another reroll out of this if we get a little lucky. Alright, very quick version of the Widow, um, but also a pretty easy version of the Widow. Spawns flies, which die in a hit or two. Nubs, which we're going to have to uh, do our best to avoid. But fairly low HP as well. Okay, Cube of Meat, thank you. Cube of Meat finished the job there. Stop summoning so many flies, you, you dick. Okay, this, I, wanted, I want this Widow to crush its own nubs. If it does so, we should really stay out of that white goo. Um, but if it uh, crushes its own nubs, we're pretty safe. That was kind of close to taking damage. We should get a deal with the devil. Are you kidding me? Cat 09 tails? Well, now we can take this. Doesn't really make that big of a difference, let's be honest. Hopefully we can um, kind of work out another reroll here. Because I'm a little disappointed with the way that this floor has gone. I'm really surprised we didn't get a deal with the devil. I didn't take any damage. Well, I took damage, but not on the boss. And I didn't take any red heart damage. Very, very disappointing. But it does look like we'll have a reroll that we can use on Shoop the Whoop here. Which is nice, because Shoop the Whoop is a, a useless item for us in our current context, our current situation. This floor doesn't seem that seamy, if you know what I mean. Like, there's not that many threads to pull to get uh, other stuff to happen. That's okay, though. Ah, another penny. We're also a little low on some consumables. I hate boss tra or mob trap rooms that double spawn enemies like this. It could be worse. Um, you know, there is the ability to double spawn bosses on boss trap rooms. If you use, like, a Book of Belial right as the, the first boss spawns, sometimes it'll trigger the second boss to spawn right away. At least in this context, we're only having to deal with flies, because, you know, if you only have, like, let's say you're playing as Judas, you get into a boss trap room, and there's, like, HP, but then you summon, uh, you know, Larry Jr. and Monstro to fight at the same time. That's not necessarily easy, you know? That could put you in a slightly difficult situation. But we're fine. Let's stop talking about things as they could be, and start talking about things as they are. 
we're in a totally okay situation. This would be a, a fabulous reroll if it turned into something half decent. And it does. Okay, so that's um, Stigmata. It's the blood of the Martyr. I always forget every single time. Our tears are super red now, and if I know anything about Isaac, that means that they uh, obviously must deal a ton of damage now. But seriously, happy to have that damage upgrade. It seems to be the flavor of the day right now. We'll see if there's a... I expected that to be a self-sacrifice room, actually. Where? Oh, where? Could the secret room be? I think the secret room almost has to be right here. Yeah. And not nearly enough money at all to make the shop worthwhile, but at least we did get three cents for one bomb. Maybe we can make the shop worthwhile on the next floor. I was hoping there'd be like a dime in there. Could work. But as is, uh, we got a damage and an HP upgrade. Fairly okay for the second floor in the game. It's no mom's knife level yet, but that's okay. So we're still, you know, waiting on the world to change here. We're waiting on an HP upgrade uh, deal with the devil floor, which is really where we can start getting some good stuff. You know, turn that deal with the devil, or turn that HP upgrade into something even better. The, the way that, you know, you eat food and turn that into energy, which turns that into good work for mankind. Um, that's what we want to do. We want to eat some dog food and then... Uh, Become Death Destroyer of Worlds. Bad damage, and we've lost our Spirit Heart now, which means uh, any damage we take will be Red Heart damage. And it's kind of insidious. This is actually how we find ourselves in uh, a dangerous situation. We start losing uh, our deal with the Devil chances, and then, yeah, this is gonna hurt. Yeah. And that, I hate that room so much when it pushes you out. That's alright, we used our... Uh, ooh, okay, at least we didn't take more damage. But yeah, we used our um, HP there to make that room be done, but I, I hate that room so much as a result of the fact that unless you can fly or you have crazy damage, you're pretty much sunk. Alright, but we got the miter. The miter is great. Could still get a deal with the devil here. My The whole point that I was getting at earlier was basically like, you know, it's a big part of the game. Getting these deal with the devil rooms is a big part of the game. We've gotten very, very lucky item rooms, item generation in general, I should say, uh, for not getting deals with the devil. Like, for example, if we don't get deals with the devil, at least we still got a couple of damage upgrades, right? Like, that's... Normally, you get those damage upgrades on an average run from a deal with the devil, for the most part. So we're in a, a pretty privileged state to to be in the position that we're in. That being said, the, the less chances we have to get to that deal with the devil, the worse are we off by far. So I'm gonna come here first. Ah, oh, that sucks so bad. I really wanted to be able to generate a reroll, but... You know, sometimes uh, you can't really make that happen. Obviously, I want to make our uh, Demon Judgment as happy as possible. This is the easiest boss fight we could probably hope for right now. And Cube of Meat probably saved me from completely nullifying my deal with the Devil chances uh, temporarily. And then I walked right into another series of shots that he fired. So, not feeling like the best Binding of Isaac player right now. Maybe we'll get absurdly lucky and still get a deal with the Devil somehow. Probably used a little bit more HP than necessary there. A bit of an overheal, which sucks. And... No deal with the devil, but... Wire Coat Hanger's pretty good. Alright, so what do we do now? <clears throat> I think we go a little aggressively on Demon Judgment. So we could have gone to the secret room, but instead I'm gonna... Throw all of our eggs into this Demon Judgment basket. I'm gonna hold off just in case that's full health. And I'm gonna go pretty hard on this Demon Judgment, which... Uh, ended up being... Very much the right decision. HP plus flying in the form of Holy Grail there. I don't want to take the pill yet. Oh, the money. The money is quite nice. We will definitely end up uh, going to our curse room as well now. That is a crazy good item generation from, from Demon Judgment there. Got some flies to back us up. We'll be able to get one more red heart on our way here. And let's pop the pill. At least we didn't use it earlier, I guess. So we're low on tran uh, temporary HP. I was gonna say transitory HP. I guess they have pretty much the same um, the same meaning there. Let's move up here. Um, yeah, so we're in a we're in a good position, provided we can get some more HP. Not being on the catacombs is gonna help out a great deal. That's uh, something that's very nice for me. And you pop up. Thank you. And you same deal. Our damage is at this point adequate. I would say. It's our um, our defense that leaves a little bit to be desired. But I think we can handle that pretty quickly. Oh, come on. None of those shots hit. Samson's lock. It's okay. Not my favorite trinket. In fact, it's so far from my favorite trinket that I don't even know exactly what it does. 
All right, let's let all the cooldown timers on these guys reset so that when we come down here, pretty much guaranteed to land some shots. Same thing. There we go. And you pop up. Easy, easy, easy. Caves 2. Let's get some keys, shall we? Uh, I didn't expect that to hit me. So we did end up losing a little bit of HP on that floor. That hurts. That, that hurts a great deal. At least we do have an arcade where we can gamble some money for some red hearts, which is normally the opposite transaction that we, uh, we prefer. Normally, we like to give red hearts for money, but... Hopefully that value proposition, ooh, very close. Hopefully that value proposition will reverse itself, because I would I would prefer to do standard, you know, blood bank type stuff, but we're not in that position right now. Because we're on the caves, I'm not super worried about this boss fight. There are probably a couple of bosses that could put me, oh, no, 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 no. Thank God. There are probably a couple of bosses that could put me back on my toes a little bit. Gertie is not necessarily one of them, though. So, again, consider this your, you know, seizure trigger warning. I don't say that as a joke. Sometimes people are like, Northern Line, you're making fun of like epilep epilepsy and the, the people who suffer from it. Not true. There's some weird like flashing light stuff going on when this Gertie fight takes a while and get Gertie gets hit a lot. So just be aware, you know, if you if this makes your head feel funny. I'm not a doctor, um, but maybe turn away and I'll give you an audio cue as to when it's going to be finished. We're about 80% of the way done right now. It's been a very easy fight. Strangely enough, despite having very little HP, I may be able to earn myself a deal with the devil as a result of good performance here. Nope. I say we reroll pageant boy. Yeah, I think the crate is much better for us here, the box. Um, we got push pin, which is bad. Wheel of Fortune, which is bad. Samson's lock we'll go back with. And this pill, we don't know what it does. Friends till the end. Not the greatest uh, pill combinations we've got here, but that's okay. So now we have a key, we actually can go to our shop. Really, really got to drill it into my head to not go to that room and pick up the tick. Because I could easily just space out for a minute and lose lose uh, focus. Pick up the tick and then have to, you know, hope for Mom's Purse or give myself uh, the Polaroid in Spider Mod. Or give myself Mom's Purse in Spider Mod, which always aggravates some people. And, you know, deservedly so. So, our shop ended up being greed, unfortunately. But the silver lining is that we did pick up a lot of money. 25 cents, considering there's only two shops left in the game, is basically as much money as we'll need uh, to be able to buy items from two remaining shops. But what we're going to do is trade some of our future prospects for current value. So we're going to uh, try to get, well, more spirit arts helps out a lot. It helps keep me uh, survivable here. But we're going to hope to earn some more keys. Bombs as well, but keys mostly. Um, that pill, do we know what it does? I can't remember. Hmm... Well, we haven't really lost very much money in the process here. Bad trip. We can't use that as full health until we lose our spirit hearts. And that's okay. What's going on, Kate? That, yeah, that's uh, Tomo's here. You're not wrong about that. I guess Wheel of Fortune, I can actually just use it effectively for once. I never really use this outside of, like, popping it down in the chest. And maybe blowing it up. Oh, well, that'll do it, probably. Oh, not quite. Okay. And we can use Bad Trip maybe in case things get, like, really, really terrible for us from an HP standpoint. But I don't think they will anytime soon. That's very helpful. And we do have one key, so we can probably afford to just leave, honestly. But, I, you know, it's the norm to get down to 15 cents, I guess. Um, and that's 14, so that's one too many. But that range down, probably not that interested in that. Alright, let's leave. Probably blow these guys up just before we go. Very happy to have the HP. I hate that it only blows up one of them, but... We can't really afford too many more bombs. Do you need my input on something? No. All right. Well, I'm going to play the Binding of Isaac then. Uh, we have another item room here. And we should easily be able to generate one more reroll. I think two is a little bit optimistic. But one more reroll should be very easy. And hopefully we won't need it. Hopefully we'll just get like Polyphemus right off the bat. And uh, that'll be great for us. But as it is right now, we got Sack of Pennies, which is... Pretty bad, especially considering we actually do have the miter and we're not dealing with a hypothetical situation where like, oh, if we get the miter, this will make it worse. Um, we actually have it. I think it's it's smart for us to just reroll that, especially considering how late in the game we are. Let's take this puberty. Very disappointing. Not necessarily awful, but disappointing uh, set of pills on this one. Well, that's five extra bombs and remote detonator. If we get super lucky, we might be able to get one more reroll. At the very least, five bombs means that that item room, you know, wasn't all for naught. And we're going to need two more rooms. Oh, that was terrible. We're going to need two more rooms after this one. 
that we got our health back, which is fine. Two more rooms after this one if we want to get our uh, reroll back. We can look for a secret room as well. Well, we're not going to get a reroll. We've already fought Greed, so Greed can't so show up in the secret room. Just, you know, slowly eliminating all of the possible permutations for the way things could go here. Good stuff. Uh, secret room. More than likely here or another place, which is just over here. And hopefully we just end up getting raw liver or something. Okay, careful with the tick here. Wow, really? All right, we'll just leave then. A little unfortunate. It's okay, though. We got the HP and speed upgrade on this floor. If nothing else, we also got the, the crate and we fought greed. Hopefully that makes us less likely to fight greed in the future. No keys again. Probably could have made a case that... Uh, it was important to gamble a little bit more on that Three Skull Monty in order to pick up uh, as many keys as we possibly could. But I have faith that we'll get one via a champion or uh, something else along the way here. Probably probably need two, let's be honest. Ah, there's one. So as soon as we find our shop, maybe we could just buy the other one. And our boss is already right there. Let's stop taking damage. We do have a really nice protection here, so we should have a pretty good chance of not taking red heart a very good chance of not taking red heart damage uh, unfortunately we're fighting a boss that very much warrants a reroll but we're also fighting a boss which is pretty easy and can give us anything after a reroll so it's not as bad as fighting like a little chat or something like that but not as good as fighting perhaps a, you know a monstro 2 or something like that doesn't really matter which one we kill first they're both annoying in their own way I took damage there due to some knockback but that's okay the knockback is really the most frustrating part of this fight no deal with the devil. Probably because I got hit, but we've been having some weird luck with that to begin with, so I'm not going to beat myself up too bad over it. And I'll be content with that shot speed plus HP upgrade. Might be some people out there arguing, hey, it's better to probably reroll stem cells because you can get an HP upgrade that doesn't come with a shot speed upgrade. Oh well. Not that big of a deal. I'd rather, again, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Why, uh... Why give up something good just because it has a slight negative associated with it, you know? I want a cheeseburger, but this cheeseburger came with Gouda. Can you send it back? Well, you never know. You might not like what it comes back with after that. Also, Gouda's delicious. Get over it. It's a, it's a very flavorful cheese. Do we know what this pill does? We don't. So, I'll take it. <sighs> now, we just have a shot speed upgrade. But, you know, it's not like those two items are causally related. It's not like if we didn't pick up shot speed up, then we wouldn't have gotten the health down pill and now we know that there's a health down pill in our rotation so it's valuable information if a little bit unfortunate our HP is still fine fine enough that I would very much like to get a deal with the devil although one never seems to show up so this is the worst kind of floor right now because we have um, looks probably a situation where our item room and shop are right next to one another which really makes things complicated from a reroll standpoint should probably hit up our curse room right away but instead, I'm just going to bum rush what I assume to be the item room and shop. Secret room doesn't really, you know, if the secret room's here, it hasn't illuminated its position to me yet. Okay, we got a second key, which is great. We can make some good stuff happen there. Seriously, oh my. I hate when these guys, they start to collude. You just travel in one direction. Don't get, don't get bent out of shape and then they start traveling in all sorts of different directions. It's like a... It's like a disastrous, you know, head-on collision or, you know, pile-up on the road or something like that. Just just cool it. Everybody go in the direction they're supposed to go in and... I guess my analogy's falling apart. That's okay. Alright. Not Greed. Book of Revelations, which is super re-rollable. Mom's purse is fine. Kind of makes me wish I pick a, picked up the tick instead. Oh well, though. Not that big of a deal. We have our item room right here. Not to bring up Chingy references, I know he's not that popular anymore. But for for people that were, uh, you know, listening to popular music in the early to mid-2000s, didn't get any better than Chingy. Great name, too. Alright, seriously. I'm gonna need you guys to F right the heck O. Friends till the end, might as well pop that right now. Secret room looks pretty obvious where it is now. Mr. Mega, so that's fine. Hopefully a little bit of money here, but no such luck. That's okay. We will go to our curse room. We have spirit hearts to back ourselves up on the next floor. Not that we're likely to get a deal with the devil on the next floor anyway. And you know what? We'll use an extra bomb here. Maybe for a key payout. Ah, uh, well. Got some money. 
All right, not the best secret room you could hope for. Again, one of those runs that's not uniformly lucky or unlucky. Mostly lucky, for sure. But certainly we could be better off here. Half a spirit heart down the drain just to check out our cursed room, but now it's down to the next floor. And do we have much of a chance here? Yeah, yeah, we do. Our damage is pretty solid. I always do that with those flies. Uh, the ability to fly is great. If we're not going to get any more, you know, offensive items, largely via deals with the devil, uh, then I would very much like to pick up some more HP. The miter's good, but it's rare that the miter can carry us exclusively, like, by itself in terms of our overall damage, uh, or overall HP necessity. Looks like we might be able to bomb our way into that shop, which would save me a key, which is looking increasingly like the dominant theme of this run, unfortunately. This lack of keys. So, oh my god. It is Necropolis. I fucking hate neutral flies, man. I'll never get over it. How do they have so much HP? They're so much better than the regular flies. How are those flies floating around, you know, freely while the neutral flies are chained to something else? Like, fly free. You're the strongest of all the flies. Well, we're going to need keys, unfortunately. Doesn't look like we are going to be able to bomb our way into that shop. Maybe, just maybe, we can bomb our way into the item room, though. Come on. This mask is, is a total camper. Get out of here. I don't like this layout at all. There we go. Hang out over the the gaps. If we can get at least get one killed, uh, then our life becomes a lot easier. With Mr. Mega, we could probably drop one bomb in here and kill, like, three of these guys. Oh. It's okay. Nice. We're, we're fine. I can trade shots with you all day, man. There we go. And now it should be easier, but I did panic a little bit there. Seized up and, like, almost dropped a bomb by accident. One more hit. God, I hate this room. Oh, unlimited keys. That's perfect. Would be nice to get some for future floors, but can't really complain thus far. So, a speed upgrade is god-awful. That'll be re-rolled, of course. I got very lucky to not get hit there. Uh, but I think our shop item's a little bit more pressing. So, we're gonna re-roll uh, notched axe. Yeah. Blue candle. Uh, it's tempting. It's tempting to pick up Blue Candle in this situation. But we did use Blue Candle last run. It wasn't really the dominant theme. The dominant theme of last run was, was definitely Mom's Knife, but... It was a part of the last run. I would rather just have, like, Compass. 9-volt Nun's Habit, etc., etc., but... We'll see. I don't know how that enemy died. That was weird. Maybe I missed a shot and it kind of, like, ricocheted into it. Not totally sure. Bit of a slower run. Probably not going to take that range downgrade. I'm going to guess that that's probably not super useful for us here. Uh, okay. This is a this is a room that requires finesse. Good. Didn't free any neutral flies. Fuck that last penny. It's not necessary. Uh, good. Good, good, good. We have another reroll available. I think we're going to use it on... Well, the most important thing for us right now is survival. Blue Candle is an item that we could use to up our survival. So, I think what I'm going to do is reroll the speed upgrade, and if it turns into something good... I can't take Mom's Knife and Blue Candle on this run, I'm sorry. That would just make it a little bit too uh, similar to the last run. So, I'll reroll um, re Mom's Knife again. Some people get frustrated when I deliberately like handicap myself to make the, the run uh, different or more exciting, I guess, but... For real, it's, uh, that would just be way too similar to the last run if we took Mom's Knife and Blue Candle. We would actually be better off than we were on the last run as well, uh, which was already an easy win. I guess we'd be a little bit worse off in one respect because we wouldn't have Map or Compass, but apart from that, we'd be in a very good position. I think it would just make it a little bit less exciting. We've already seen that run. It wouldn't be much of, like, Isaac Experimenters in that case. We wouldn't be Isaac Scientists. We'd just be, you know, Isaac Copycats. So, be safe and be smart. We're not teleporting out of this mom fight, so we won't go to it just yet. What do we have in here? I was hoping it would be a golden chest, and that has worked out very nicely for us. Really, really hoping there's an arcade on this floor. We can make super good use of that with our HP, plenty of red hearts just chilling around, and a nice little spirit heart buffer to back us up as well. For now, leapers, get taken. Get fucked. And get the hell out of my face. If you don't like it, Leapers, you can leave. And I think we're a little bit stronger than Necropolis right now, but I do worry about the Cathedral. 
The womb is like, eh, it's probably a little bit harder than Necropolis, even though I oftentimes say that Necropolis is harder than the womb. It depends on your generation, like, not like your age. <laughs> like, if you're part of like, a, if you're a baby boomer, it's gonna be easier. No, no, no. But, um, I, uh, I'm a little bit worried for the cathedral in particular, because if we don't get much more damage, it's gonna be difficult for us to string together a victory here, I think. Alright, Halo of Flies is worth picking up. Now we can start rerolling Blue Candle, and I'm still satisfied Halo of Flies is a really nice defensive item. You know, let's be honest, it's no mom's knife, but it's, uh, it's good in its own right. For half a Spirit Heart, we'll check out our Curse Room, even though we don't have a reroll active, which makes this slightly yeah, suboptimal. We didn't need one anyway. Alright. Probably coming pretty close to the end of this floor. Just hopeful that there's an arcade available. If not, I just really want to be able to get at least one more reroll on our shop, which is, uh... You know, it would only require one more room with combat after this, but sometimes that's not plausible. And we should spend some money at our shop before we leave regardless. Why? Well, because uh, there's a key in there which we should buy to give ourselves maybe at least one golden chest we can open on the chest should we make it that far. And, um, you know, getting that extra spirit heart would be nice as well. Really, really hoping for a deal with the devil on the next floor though. Which means not an XL floor. So we'll come down and to the right, like so, and reroll blue. Well, I guess, you know what? Mm, no, we'll just reroll it. I was going to buy it and then reroll it. Wouldn't have made a difference. Hopefully we get another reroll because I really don't want to pick up Bum Friend. What was the first item in there? It was a Book of Revelations. I don't, I can't remember. Anyway, pretty terrible uh, item spawning there. And we do have an arcade. Which will allow us to gamble kind of crazily here. Hermit. Oh, that's actually awesome. We can use that to teleport out of our uh, out of our mom boss fight. Which won't generate another reroll for us, but is nice nonetheless. Come on, work with me here. It would have been so nice, obviously, to get Nun's Habit on this floor now that we know that there's a blood bank. Oh well, shit happens. I still don't think it's worth buying Bum Friend. I think it's worse to have Bum Friend than to not have it. Okay, so before we, like, really try to min-max this floor, such awful damage there. Before we really try to min-max this floor, let's just get out and, uh, would really love to win that blood bag. Could be super useful for us. We'll fight Mom. Without a blue candle, it's going to be a bit of a difficult fight relative to the way that it was last time, but this is what we signed up for. This is what we're going to deal with. We'll Hermit Card out, possibly get a deal with the Devil. We didn't take Red Heart damage. We'll probably take some Spirit Heart damage against Mom, if I had to guess. Which Mom is it? It is regular Mom, which is really nice for us. And despite the fact that I rerolled Blue Candle and Mom's Knife on this floor, it's a pretty strong floor for us. Uh, you know, finishing up our full suite of Orbitals via Halo of Flies is a very nice get. Apart from that, maybe not that exciting, I guess, but that's okay. So we do have Mr. Mega here. We should try to get some value out of it. It's a little bit tricky to, to pop down useful bombs when you don't know where like the body segments are going to be, which which parts of Mom's uh, Mom's body are going to be exposed. That kind of sounded like an awkward sentence that I wasn't comfortable saying. But this fight's going well so far. Maybe we'll just end up saving our bombs. Okay. Red dude, you gotta die. We're a little bit more than 50% of the way through the fight thus far. Say we're about 75% of the way through the fight now. Samson's Lock uh, may be helping us generate a little bit more damage as time goes on. We spawned two of those unusual enemies on the same fight. That is... I don't normally care about the odds of stuff like that. Don't normally find them that impressive, I guess. It's my personal problem. Um, that The odds of that, though, must be insanely low. Okay. You, you should be deceased. That's such bad damage to take at the end, too. Well, we'll take our speed upgrade. We'll take the Polaroid. We'll Hermit Card out. We'll go back. We don't want Bum Friend. Uh, we'll gamble all of our existing Red Hearts away to try to win Blood Bag. And hopefully we don't get IV Bag. Eh, if we have to get either IV Bag or nothing, I'd rather get IV Bag, I guess. But hopefully we get a deal with the Devil. And we can just uh, move along. Ah, ha, ha, okay. Well, you know, it's probably in our best interest to gamble a little bit here. Let's just be safe. Win some Red Hearts, win some Keys, something along those lines. A second golden key is actually something I don't want right now. 
All right, regular keys, very nice. We'll play until they get down to 45 cents. That's that's my thinking here. Why 45 cents? Ah, you know, it's a roundish number. It uh, gives us a, like a, a time constraint, so we uh, can't just stay here forever, which takes some pressure off me. And hopefully it gives us enough time to pick up some more survivability. That, I think I barely nudged that out of the way. Thanks to the mitre, we're getting a lot of spirit hearts out of this, which is probably a godsend. Now, did I pick up the IV bag? That's something I should make sure of, doubly sure of, really, before we uh, leave here. Just to make sure that if we play more blood banks, not that I will, um, that we'll have a good chance to get the uh, blood bag, if we play them enough, at least. Alright, key situation's good. Could use some more red hearts, but we're getting spirit hearts instead, which is probably better. Alright, 50 cents, which means five more plays. Unless we continue to get single pennies, which is both frustrating and super useful. Probably the best play is to just gamble in here forever, but that's not the way I play Isaac for the most part. Okay, we'll go to 40 cents just because we've, we've made a lot of progress here quickly. Um, now that there's only half of them, I don't really want to go to 40 cents. I want to go to 45, but whatever. We'll finish it off here. Seriously, some red hearts and spirit hearts would just be so valuable. Ah, uh, okay. You know what? We actually could get one more reroll here. I can't believe I didn't. This didn't cross my mind earlier, but uh, if we find the secret room, we should be able to get a reroll if there's a greed in there. Let's see. There is. Okay. Wow. Lucky me. So I, I still would prefer to reroll uh, the bum friend versus the speed upgrade. I know that people will be like, "Well, you could have taken bum friend and then rerolled the speed upgrade in the mom fight." So be it. We're gonna take steam sale, even though. Well, I mean, if, if we end up buying the item, I guess it'll save us a little bit of money. Now, we could get a deal with the devil as well, but I'm just going to reroll uh, our shop item, and hopefully this will end up being some mapping capability or something for us. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's very good. And now we'll go down, and hopefully we've got this deal with the devil backing us up as well, and we'll be able to pick up a high damage item that is not Mom's Knife, and this floor has turned out fantastically for us in spite of ourselves. No deal with the devil, but that's okay. All right. Womb XL means there's not going to be a deal with the devil on this floor either. But we do know where to go to get to that uh, boss room as soon as possible. Ideally, at least. Should be close by. More spirit hearts. Very nice. This it this looks too good to be true. I, I'm starting to think that this is actually the wrong way, just based on the fact that it looks too, uh, too clean. We might have to do a few dipsy doodles here, you know, take the wrong exit ramp or something like that. In order to get uh, get to the right place, but if we play our cards right, it should be easy. Oh, this is the right way, I think. Now, basically guaranteed. Okay, hoping for. I can't, I shouldn't just stand right here. What am I? What was that supposed to be? All right, let's start. This room overwhelmed me a little bit. Let's just start by taking out the uh, the guts. With the guts taken out. That'll make it so there's only a doppelganger, and then you can just fly him onto the spikes. Okay, that half heart probably helps. I was going to dodge right into that. That was that would have been incredibly stupid. Okay, I don't know why that room seemed to present such a challenge for me, but that's okay. I found pills, obviously not something we're very interested in right here. Kind of a disappointing pill rotation. Especially the health downgrade. It's okay, though. All right, there's our boss rooms. That was quick, very, very quick. We're gonna fight Death again, which I say again because we did fight him in this exact same position on the last run. Um, in this run, it's a little bit better because instead of replacing a pretty fly with a cube of meat, he's replacing a first level cube of meat with a second level cube of meat. That's a little bit more offensive punch for us. Little being the key, come on. Little being the key word there, but still, it's nice. Now we just gotta, basically whenever the, the horse comes by, I'm just gonna get the heck out of the way. Wow, that sucks. Um, why am I gonna get the heck out of the way? Because I don't trust myself to deal with the knockback that I'm gonna be creating. As you saw, I got hit by him. Uh, I got hit by death twice, which is not really where I wanna be. We could've re-rolled Cuban Meat, I think, but... Yeah, uh, maybe we couldn't have, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm, I'm happy with second level Cuban Meat nonetheless. All right, so this is definitely a use bombs situation. Mr. Mega is going to be one of our best damage dealers. Ooh, pretty terrible knockback on that there. And this is going to be our run. This is our run up to uh, up to the point where we can get to the chest. Are we strong enough to beat Isaac? Yes. Uh, 
the the thing that I'm gonna say that's the nicest about this run right now is we do have um, there we go. Uh, we do have a lot of red hearts, which is actually great for us because it means that when we do pop bad trip, and we probably will have to pop it, um, we'll have like not an insignificant amount of health. We'll have a meaningful amount of HP uh, to try to build on, which is gonna be good. And I hope that we can make it so that we don't take this bad trip pill until we fight Blue Baby. But if we have to use it when we fight Isaac, that's fine as long as it gives us uh, the win. That's that's the only thing that matters there. Okay, so let's go up. Not Curse of Darkness. Good, good, good. This may not be the right way, but you know my my educated guess says that it could be. Seriously, walk into the spikes. Thank you. Um, oh, that's not good, or less good at least. Thought maybe I'd confuse him by jumping into the blue spikes there. We don't have any need for that nickel, so... Uh, this doesn't look like the right way to me. It might still be the right way, but we're gonna go around the other way just to... hedge our bets a little here. Still plenty of bombs. If we need to use them to get through a room like this, then... there's no shame in that as far as I'm concerned. Probably should have taken damage there, but a uh, full suite of orbitals protected me. Oh, that one was bad. But we... hey, we get uh, our HP back anyway. Nice. And two of hearts. Actually... A super useful card to use right now. Very rare that that happens, but yeah, that that's very helpful. Okay, blow up. Good. Do some damage. Blow them up when they're far away. You gotta be close too. Yeah. All right. Now get you stuck on the wall here. Ooh, good. And this has been handled very, very nicely thus far. Boss room is right down here. Dub Loki. Not a huge issue. Not an issue at all, apparently. Just get one killed, and then you've got single Loki. And aggression uh, will favor you drastically there. Spawn some more bomb flies, you jerk. That was the that was my ace in the hole, wasn't it? There we go. All right, bomb flies galore. That's where Loki starts to suck really badly because he creates his own worst enemy. Oh, awful damage on my part, but that's okay. I'm still jazzed because I'm, you know, it's the 1920s. Uh, I'm jazzed about that, uh, that two of hearts card, which gives us a few more hits. You know what? That's what you did that. You made me blow this up because you were using that rock as cover too effectively. Almost left that room, which would have been super disappointing. You should be deceased. There we go. We even found the secret room by accident. Eh, we'll pick it up, but it's not that exciting. All right, so if I can not use bad trip on this floor, on this room, I should say, that would be amazing. I don't love the chances of that happening. That's okay. And we have a full suite of orbitals. I'm I'm kind of just not going to dodge. But my strategy is, you know, count this as free damage. Anytime we get hit, switch sides and while you're switching sides, drop a bomb in there that will um that will do a nice not insignificant amount of damage. I think we're probably going to get a win here. Which would be a personal victory, considering that we uh, totally passed up a guaranteed win with uh, Mom's Knife and Blue Candle. Okay, this is very easy so far. Full suite of orbitals helping out a lot. There we go. We got hit. Run in there. Switch sides. Drop a bomb in quickly. I fully expect to take a few hits on this fight. I don't expect to just get out with one. Especially once these angel fetuses start sneaking in some, some sneaky ones. Very lucky. Wow. Wow. The fact that we did not get hit for so long there is crazy lucky. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, I see, I knew I was going to take some more damage, but that's okay. Now, be cool here. Bad trip. Does bad trip work if you're not at a half heart interval? It better. Otherwise, I might find myself in a tricky spot, but we also are about to find out uh, if maybe we get carried when it comes to the chest. So, we come down to the next floor. And boom, 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 boom. These are all awful. <laughs> yeah, these these are all terrible. Let's reroll them. Damage, HP, X-ray goggles is not good enough. Rosary is, but we'll wait to pick it up. Mom's pad is pretty good as well. If we find our boss, that would be like a good item to take in to finish it. Um, so we're gonna try to, since we have the miter on this room, the proper thing to do, I think, is uh, Probably Greed first, because he's the most annoying. Gluttony last, even though I just shot that bomb directly into his face. I don't really care if I kill uh, Wrath or Greed first. I just want them to die. And we're trying to save some bombs here. Probably don't need to be this prudent with them, but... It's safe. That's sweet damage there. Thank you very much. But yeah, I was going to say, Greed's got to be close. But I think Gluttony's kind of close, too. Spirit Hearts, man. Spirit Hearts. Spirit Hearts. 
Work with me. Hey, there we go. So we're not going to pick up that spirit heart yet, just in case. And this is the right way to go to get to the boss room. And we're going to get another spirit heart here. I'll probably end up taking damage in the process. But at least we won't get too screwed on this room. And then we'll take all our spirit hearts and we'll, we'll go through to the, uh, to the Isaac fight. Which should be pretty easy. Blue baby fight, I should say. I mean, the last... The fight against Isaac was pretty easy. All we gotta do is basically equal our performance there, but we can get hit a lot more often. And we'll have Mom's Pad instead of the D6. Or the Feather. Um, I think Mom's Pad's a little bit more effective. Even though we don't have Nun's Habit, which would make it a lot better. Alright, so let's pick these up. This should be a win for us. We'll pick up the Rosary as well. Or Shears. Is Shears... I don't think Shears is better. Maybe Mom's Pad is better. Doesn't last that long, but it's free damage, so... Allows us to sneak in some shots, and this should be good to go. Alright, let's do this. Mom's pad, then you run away from me. Uh, you know, shoot some bombs over into you. Put some more down here, because I expect that you'll warp back. Hurt myself on that one, not too excited about that, but that's okay. Alright, bad trip. This is your time to shine. If you end up not uh, working because I don't have a half-heart interval, I'm going to be a very salty individual. But I think... It's possible we might get through this without even having to use Bad Trip. Which again, it's always kind of a mark of personal pride. When you save like a get out of jail free card and then just don't go to jail. That's also nice. Uh, because it feels like you didn't get carried as much as maybe you could be accused of. This fight's very easy. You know, uh, our damage is nice. The ability to fly is nice. But you know what really carried us here? That halo of flies that we got from the reroll of Mom's Knife. We actually still got carried by that item room. Um, whether, uh, whether it was going to be offensively or defensively remained to be seen, I guess. And the, the damage upgrades that we picked up from our item room is pretty solid. Relatively comfortable run. You know, it was no last Maggie run, but it's still, uh, very good. Yeah, we didn't even come close to using Bad Trip. Unless I get hit, like, six times at the end of this room. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.